call the police. Take me to the police station so they'll try. Ah, bad, bad, boop. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so. <laughs> call the police. And today we're gonna tell you 10 ways you can get detained in Japan. And these are pretty weird ways, right? Yeah, we want to make sure that you guys don't uh, come to Japan and end up in the the Django yeah. Locks tail. Yeah, yeah, the lock box. The lock box. Jack in box. No way out, homie. <laughs> that we want to tell you about is you can get put in prison for lending someone your train pass. Um, there are like two different kinds of transit pass that you can use to get on a train or use in a convenience store or cafe and they usually have your name on it. This one has Kasha's name on it. Oh my god. <laughs> and guess who gave it to us? It's me. Bad, bad, boo-boo! Mm. As a Japanese citizen, obviously they have to call the police. I hate myself, but it's something you know, it's I gotta do. Civil, civil right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's like fraud or something like that. I don't know. To be honest, there's no one's really gonna check whose Suica you have. Be careful, I guess. Like, don't readily show a policeman you have someone else's Suica. <laughs> Number two, drugs, but mostly weed, right? Is the weed on the show real? No. So basically in some states in America, um, marijuana or weed is legal. But in Japan, it's a very, very yeah. serious offense. Serious. For foreigners, they'll kick you out. If yeah. they find you with it, you won't be able to come back to Japan. Paul McCartney came back to Japan last year for a tour and it is his first in Japan for maybe 20 or 30 years or something like that because he was found with weed here. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> that's that's why he came here? Like I mean, because he was finally allowed back in the country. <laughs> Paul McCartney, who when searched by customs, was found to be carrying a not inconsiderable bag of marijuana. So unless you're Paul McCartney, then um, stay away from weed. Number... Three is possessing a pocket knife. Oh, yes! If you have a pocket knife that's more than 5.5 centimeters or even any kind of switchblade, you really cannot possess that outside of your home. Chris told us this story and he has a friend that prefers to have his pocket knife, you know? He carries around a ruler so that every time he gets stopped, he can just break out the ruler and be like, haha! Oh, it's within the limits. You cannot take me to the police station, so don't try. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. So, if you want to have your personal weapon or bottle opener, yeah. whatever you're gonna use the knife for, make sure you carry a ruler. I mean, this like law applies to everything. Like, you can't have a long stick in your car just to protect yourself if you if someone like no attacks you. you. You just can't have weapons in general in Japan. It's so funny how like people are say, are angry about their gun rights yeah. in the U.S. and you can't even have a stick in Japan, guys. We can't even hold a stick. Wait, if you're cosplaying in Japan, and you want to have a realistic sword. Make sure it's not metal, because yeah. you can also Nothing get metallic. detained for that as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So number four, sleeping outside. Um. You can sleep, take naps here and there, but it's if you're in a public realm, you're in a public space, yeah. if you fall asleep at stations yeah. or like that kind of thing, they'll assume that you're intoxicated and take you down to the police station. Uh, it's not that much of a trouble, yeah. but you, you always, most likely, but wake just up be in careful. the police station. So. I will always wake up. <laughs> yeah. My dad went to a national monument in the US in the middle of a stairs with thousands of people going up and down and he fell asleep right in the middle. Uh, you can't do that in Japan. <laughs> Number five, being a foreigner. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> it's not illegal to be a foreigner in Japan, but there are a lot of rules and regulations that go around um, being a tourist here or living here, as well as the fact that police officers tend to be more suspi suspicious of foreigners than Japanese people. The thing is that I've been stopped or also like held many times just because they're like, oh, you're a foreigner, let me see your documents. And even if I show them my documents, they're like, oh, well, still, let's check and search. And they ask you what airport you came into Japan so they can check that you were here properly and yeah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> safe in Japan that police officers have nothing to do. So they so kind of slightly pick on foreigners They pick on sometimes. us sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, that's like the easiest thing to catch. You know, they don't have to do investigation. You have like, <laughs> your card or not. Hey! Hey! hey. That's me, Chris. <laughs> I have a story. I know a guy who went running in the evening and he didn't have his residence card with him. So the police stopped him and then they took him to the police station for questioning. He told them that they can go and pick up the card, but they wouldn't have it. They just kept him uh, interrogating him for, well, nothing really. At some point they requested urine samples from him. So that he had to like pee in a bottle so that his urine can be analyzed. And all of this for really for nothing, for basically yeah. being being a running foreigner in a park in the evening, so this happens. Basically segues into the next one, which is just that you have to have your yeah. documents. Yeah, so, so number, that would be number so. six. If you're living here, then you need your Zaidu Kado, which is your alien. residence card, yeah. your alien registration card. Yeah. If you don't have that card, they can hold you for 40 days with no charges whatsoever. Yeah. It's legal, that's completely legal. <laughs> So uh, they might, they most likely won't. Like most of the cases that I've heard is they'll follow you home to yeah. see, to find your card or, you know, they'll question you for a long time like how Chris was saying or just be like really creeping annoying, but they can. Yeah, they so, have like the power to, so yeah, just really make sure you have your documents. And, and be nice like, if they do ever take you to the court. Hey, you got a license for that? You'll never take me alive. And also, this goes for tourists as well, hey? So yeah. if you're not living here, you still, you need your passport. If you don't have your passport, yeah. it's the same thing. You're screwed. <laughs> and in a lot of countries, they say you have to have your passport or you're screwed. In Japan, you are going really, to be screwed. Really, honestly, like, they can deport you if they want to. So, yeah. yeah. This is a very specific one. Yeah, this is kind of weird. Um, a lot of people ride bikes. There's huge do. parking lots. There's bicycles all the streets. And because of that, um, yeah. I guess there's a lot of worry for bike theft. Mm. If you ride a bike, sometimes people will just stop you. And of course, that whole pairing with the, you're a foreigner, plus you're on a bike, let me stop you for fun. If you don't have papers that say, this is your bike, they will put you in. Like, I, I had a, um, we go to the same university, mm. but at university, they tell the foreigners all of these things that you have to be careful about. And they even bring a lawyer to tell us about the stuff not to do. And he said he was held in prison for eight days because he didn't have um, <laughs> papers for yeah. his bike. So and that includes your friend's bike. He includes like any kind of bike. Like me and my friends were just chilling at a park and we were kind of intoxicated. So we chose to like, there's this bicycle on the floor, mm. like just on the ground so mm. we was like just playing around and riding it and then a policeman came and we really mm. almost got detained we're just like we're messing around we're messing around we had to sorry, call the guy sorry, down sorry. <laughs> number eight is to work at a bar or a club so of course mm. this only actually refers to um foreigners it is illegal it's considered an adult industry and any adult industry is not allowed for foreigners I, i'm not saying that i don't know people who do do this yeah. but it is illegal so you should be careful there are places that have strictly foreigners working but yeah. um they're they're protected by the yakuza <laughs> 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 they are. <laughs> yeah, I had a friend who wanted to be a DJ actually. He came here, but he had to leave because, um, yeah, he got caught once. Yeah, so. 
Number nine, overstaying past your visa. Sometimes you kind of overlook this and you get in really, really big trouble. It looks like a small detail, but it's actually a big thing. Yeah. In Japan, Chris was saying that he had friends who they would just mess up their flight. So it's only a couple hours. Yeah. They actually got arrested for a few days and then they were banned from Japan for an entirety of 10 years. Number 10, prescription medication. There's just so much regulations for certain types of medication to be legal in Japan. A lot of good medication that you get prescribed to in America or in other foreign countries might be illegal in Japan, so you just really gotta be careful to have your prescription because an ADHD drug that is really common in America is heavily illegal in Japan. And one of my friends, he has ADHD, he has like the medication, he brings it to Japan with the prescription, he gets the prescription at his house and he's literally got detained and his parents had to bring the prescription to the police station mm. because they were about to arrest him. For drug abuse. Yeah. Even mm. getting um, painkillers is slightly more annoying, like you can't get them over the counter mm -hmm. in Japan. So that sums up the 10 things you can get detained for in Japan. It's really not as bad as it seems. Like, yeah. I'm still here. Um, <laughs> Chris is still here. Yeah. Kosh yep. is still here. Not everybody is going to get detained if you're a foreigner or if you're just Japanese and doing all of these things. Yeah. You yeah. have to be really unlucky or yeah. like you Looking already have trouble. to be, yeah, doing something that gets you in trouble. Like public everybody. drinking, like yeah. being really intoxicated and I've never been detained. List. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Cover your tracks. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we also are planning to make a video about the things that, in the opposite way, yep. right, mm. are a little bit looser in Japan. Eh? Yeah. For example, littering, underage drinking, and so on. That are some, mm. some stuff. Mm. They'll be in a different video. Yeah. So. Well, then leave us a comment down below. Anything you were quest maybe questioned or something. Yep. Yeah. Um, like, subscribe, and that is. It. Yeah. Just yep. check out all our stuff and watch other videos too and love us! Don't be worried, come to Japan, it's a really nice place and just make sure to follow the rules. The rules. Yeah, right. like yeah. look at how nice little Ryo is. Japanese people are sweet. He's embarrassed, he's <laughs> blushing. <Thank> no. <laughs> Alright, yes. I'm gonna go call the police on Chris right now. Oh yeah, we have to call the yeah, yeah, yeah.